Hello everyone, I'm Velo City, and today I'm going to be doing a quick video editing tutorial. Um, so go ahead and open whatever your uh, your program is. For me, I use Sony Vegas 14, Pro 14, and go ahead and open that. And today I'm going to be showing you how to do a blurred background. Um, so a lot of like video game YouTubers or people that do like video essays on movies or whatever, what they like to do is have sort of a background and then an overall border and then the video clip in the middle. And they'll also have sort of this little like blur around their videos, this little blur border. And I'm going to be showing you how to do that today. So what you're going to want to do is just go to a blank slate, a blank, just a blank place or whatever. Um, and you're going to have to open three things. Uh, first thing you want to open is either a picture or video, whatever you want to be the uh, in the middle. So let's just uh, use this picture of a kid getting shocked. Why not? Um, and that is going to be your top layer. And what you want to do with your top layer is first, of course, crop it down. So to crop that down, uh, if you kind of mess with it like this, it's kind of not going to go how you want it to. So what you want to do first is, um, well, first of all, for me, I'm going to get this back in place. Okay, so that's back in place. First thing you're going to want to do is go to where it says maintain aspect ratio. And you're going to want to click no. And that'll make you, it, uh, that will allow you to kind of free crop it however you want. So like you can kind of like shrink it, crush it, you know, whatever you want to do with it. Um, yeah, that makes it a lot, that, that makes it uh, kind of free, free moving. Um, I already have a preset for mine. That's how mine looks. So you're going to want to have this top layer and you're going to want to crop it down. And the next thing you're going to want to have is whatever the blur, whatever you want the blur to be. So for me, I was using a navy blue. Preferably, you want something that matches, of course, so it looks nice. But for me, I'm just going to be using navy blue for this. And with your, this is going to be your second layer. So you're going to have your top layer, your middle layer, and then you're also going to have just like a plain color, a plain white background. Uh, preferably, like anything but black, because black, it just, the blur won't show up on it unless you're using like, I guess, yellow or green or something, but, or a lighter color. But for me, it's just, it usually looks a lot better if you use a lighter color. So you're going to want this to be, so you're going to want your picture or video to be the top layer. You're going to want the blur to be the middle, and you're going to want the background to be the bottom layer. So go ahead and you crop the uh, top layer down, and you're also going to want to crop the blur. So for me, I have a set one. That's kind of where mine is. Um, but what I use on my blur is the effect... Um, it is down here. It's called radio, radio blur. And you want to go ahead and click that, press add, and then press OK. And what I have mine set to, um, I have a preset for this as well, but you can just copy this. This is type proportional and it's, uh, a strength is going to be 0 0.483. Because what? I, because if you do it too much, it's gonna like just cover up the whole thing. It's basically making it um, just the blank slate or whatever it was, just the blank picture. Um, so for me, I set it to about here. You want to do it somewhere sort of in the middle is where it looks best, unless you want it really thick. But I don't think that looks as good as if you just have it like really like subtle. So for me, it's about a 0 0.483, and you want to keep this one proportional. Um, another smart thing to do when having a blur behind your video is to kind of crop it. So when you say like when you draw something, right, you kind of have you kind of have it where one side you when you draw something, you have a shadow, right? So you kind of want to have one side maybe thicker than the other side or coming out more than the other side. So usually when you have you want to have the right side and the bottom side sort of coming out more than the other sides. But for this video, this is just an example. You can mess, you can mess with it however you want with the crop, but that's how I would do it. That's how I'd normally do it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You just have that, um, add the radial blur to the background, color, whatever it is. Uh, crop this, the top layer. Just make sure you turn off the aspect ratio so you can actually crop it the way you want. And then have the background. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. You'll get your video however you want. Uh, I made this video because I was trying to look it up myself because I didn't know how to do it. It's really simple once you kind of figure it out. Um, but I looked it up and I couldn't find a video tutorial on it. 
So yeah, really simple, really easy. Th just three layers and that's it.